Hello everybody, welcome back to Potsy FM with me Paul. Today we're back with the Rude Boys and the RB Leipzig save. Can we get that treble? All that stands in our way, Bayern Munich and Liverpool. Alright, here we are. Bayern Munich today, Liverpool in a week. Can we get that first treble done and dusted? I mean, all that stands in our way are two of the most OP teams in the game. But we've beat Bayern twice this season. Don't think I've played Liverpool yet. We've got a full strength team to choose from, so I don't see why not. Let's go for Costa in goal, DeMarco at left back. We're going to have Guardia and Silva centre backs, Timber at right back, Danilo half back, and then we've got Bellingham, the Dom, Chrissy and Cuckoo, and then my boys, Endrick and Sesco. I mean, look at this the vultures are circling. The vultures are circling. You've got Juventus after Tony Silva, Man United still after Guardia. Who's up? Man City and Tottenham after Beppe DeMarco. Newcastle and Tottenham after Danilo. Liverpool of all teams after Dom. And oh, everyone and their brother wants Big Ben. So let's see if we can win these two games. Prove to these boys that we are the almighty and that being rude boys is the way to be. A little bit nervous ahead of this one. You know, you don't really want to be losing the, this game in the middle of having wrapped up the league and then going for the Champions League. But, yeah, we've got a, we've got a good chance. I mean, we were the best team in the league. Like I said, we've done the double over them in the league. So confidence should be high amongst the players. And we ran away with the league in the end. So hopefully we can get our hands on our first Pokal. Because yeah, we both I think both other seasons we've gone out in the semi-finals with Bayern, so this is the first season we've gone for a semi in any competition. Bellingham was nearly there at the front post, but the Don might get another chance. No, Friday was just going to run into that space. Can he get the ball in there? He's going to have to recycle it. Let's go back to Demarco, Tony Silva, and Cuckoo. It's getting a bit narrow. He's running around the edge. He's gone through. Can he get a ball in? No, he's going to get tackled. Mane tries to bring it and Cuckoo nicks it off him. Squares it to Bellingham. Bellingham breaks into the box and a great left footed strike from our captain, Jude the Dude. What a brilliant goal that was. The first attack or first noteworthy attack that warranted a highlight. And Jude the Dude has just showed why he's one of the elite talents in world football at the moment. He's even, I don't know if he's better in, on FM than he is in real life, but. I mean, he's going to be the go-to for so many people in all their saves. So glad we got him. And it's 1-0 in the first of these two massive games, for the not only for the history of the club, but also for the future in terms of trying to convince these players to stay where they are. I've got another highlight now. DeMarco's lost out to Gnabry. They've got Kraus. I'm sure he's one of our old players. Like De Ligt, Kraus, Goretzka. Davies has got an absolute acre to run into. He is rapid. You're not going to catch him. He gets to the byline. Probably should have had a better end product there. But Nkuku looks to exploit the gap that Davies has left. The Dom gets bundled over by Goretzka. Tactical foul there, I think, from them. Surprised we got a booking on the back of that. Never mind. Never mind. 1-0 up. Had more shots on goal than them, but only one on target, which was the goal. We've got the ball here, though. Timber looks for Shesko. Timber got a bit of space, runs into the box, looks for Nkuku. Has he beat that offside trap to steal and make it 2 0? The referee doesn't know. The linesman doesn't know. Bayern Munich are appealing. It's awarded. The referee did not see anything wrong with. Uh, the referee didn't know what was going on. But the VAR have looked. He's onside. It's a great run from Timber. Fantastic ball. And Cuckoo's run off the back of his man. And a fantastic finish to beat Neuer. Was it close? I mean, that is a great one. He has timed that to absolute perfection. He's got in there. He's trying to hold on to his 160k. At least, at least somebody wants to stay with us. I mean, I don't know if the others want to leave, but there's going to be some attractive offers coming in, I think, in the summer. It's a big, big summer ahead of us, like I said. Still only two shots on target for us from nine shots now. It's been a bit of a problem. As much as we've been scoring a lot of goals this season... There's been quite a few times we get to half time and our shots to shots on target ratio is not very good at all. So, I mean, I was, I was going to go for one of them more shots on target, but 
I'm going to say need more possession. I mean, if we've got the ball, I don't often concede goals unless something drastic happens. But here we go. A bit um, extravagant there from Tony Silva looking for DeMarco. He looks for Endrick down the line. Endrick looks for Nkuku in the middle. He's in. And he probably should have made that three there. Should have got a brace. Should have made it three. But as it stands, by a minute trying to play out from the back, can we press? Can we get close enough to them to nick the ball? It doesn't look like it at this stage. They go a bit longer. Sane beats Timber to the ball. Timber gets it there, though. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. He's not Endrick. Looks for Sesko. Sesko beats his man. Sesko's in. So, oh, Big Ben. Thought that was free. It's, it's all us, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they brought Sane on for Nabry. Tony Silver at the near post, that is about a signature. I'm, I, look, I think if you look at all seven of his goals this season, they're going to be from a Dominic Slobozlai corner. It's going to be at the near post. Towering header. I mean, for those of you who see the game a few, a few streams ago, you wouldn't want him passing from the edge of the attacking penalty area like he did against Dortmund. But in terms of a near post header, there's none better. I mean, there's he's one that I'm thinking about possibly moving on in the summer. Oh, Endrick's in here. And Endrick has made it four. The Bayern Munich fans can't believe their eyes. They must be getting ready to leave this stadium. They're getting absolutely torn apart by these, this rude boy side. Oh, look, De Ligt again, run off the... I think, is that a theme of the game? Are players running off the back of Delict? It seems like it. I mean, I was worried about losing this and, and possibly damaging morale going into the Champions League final. But I'm thinking Bayern Munich might never recover from this this morale kick in the teeth that they're, gonna, they're getting. Um, I mean, average rating of us, nearly 7.5. We're, we're just unbelievable at the moment. Well, Hendrick's lost the ball. Clean sheets is something we're not keeping a lot of, I'll be honest, in the games like this. We're 4-0 up. Should just see it out, but here we go. Davis down the left again. He's always a threat with his pace. But Big Ben nicks the ball off him. The Dom, Tony Silva, don't do anything stupid, son. DeMarco runs it down the left. He beats his man. Looks for Hendrick. Ah, oh, see? That's what happens when you don't run off the back of him. You try and run off the front of him. Gets it. But now Kimmich is in. End-to-end -end stuff here. Timo Werner, our old boy, scores, ruins our clean sheet. The referee's having a look. He shouldn't have been offside from there. I'd be surprised if this goal gets turned over. It didn't. It's awarded. Timo Werner scores against us again. Uh, why did we let him go? Because Bayern Munich paid an extortionate amount of money for him. That is why we let him go. Right. Dom's knackered. Paul, I'm going to say Varner just to try and make it sound like I'm attempting to to be a bit German. So he's going to come on for the Dom, and Timber's going to get a rest for Mo Simican. I was thinking about Lima, but no, nah, Simican's going to come on. Um, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. We've got a whole week, at least, I think, till the Liverpool game, so there's no point going overly dramatic with the rest of the players corner for Bayern Munich swing it in Big Ben gets it away the lick tries to knock it back and it goes wide for a goal kick it's edging towards the last 15 minutes now now they've got a free kick Sane looks for the man but Tony Silva gets up showing his aerial prowess again in both box Sane with a strike Sane with an absolutely fantastic goal um, I mean maybe we need to kind of just demand a bit more here because we're letting them back into the game. If they get one more, they're going to be have all sorts of confidence going into the last 10. So we really need to... Should I potentially drop it back to balanced? I don't think that's my style. I don't think that's what the Rude Boys do. The Rude Boys attack. But this is a fantastic strike from Sane. Maybe the keeper should do better. We probably should close him down a bit better for being overly critical. But, I mean, Bayern are good, still a good side. I don't know if it's 4 0 up. But maybe it maybe it flattered us a bit. The stats, in terms of shots and shots on target, are fairly even. Possession there ahead of us. So you could argue that it's a fairly even game. I mean, XG, we're, we're winning. But, yeah, end of the game now. Let's just see this out, boys. Let's not make it 
harder than it needs to be. DeMarco looks for Endrick. Endrick with a poor touch, but he nicks the ball back off Graven Birch. He's running in. Madawake looks for Big Ben, and Big Ben can't get himself on the score sheet in, a, in this final. There's there. Looking like they've run out of ideas now. Monsieur Arla's got gone off. And there we have it. Second trophy of this season to go with the league title. We've got what just looks like a medieval kind of weapon. It actually looks a bit like the World Cup. I mean, it's the DFB Pokal. It's our first one. First of many. It's our third trophy, if you don't include the Super Cup. And third, no, fourth. Can't add up. We've got three league titles and a Pokal now. Looking for our third trophy of the season. So join me in a second when we come back for the Liverpool game. Just before we get into the Champions League final, look at that. Nagelsmann has been sacked by Bayern Munich on the back of that result. Bayern Munich chairperson Oliver Kahn has announced that his team has parted company with Julian Nagelsmann. Wow. We have kicked him out of the Bundesliga. We came, we saw, we conquered. I mean, Bayern Munich's probably the, well, would have been the easiest job in Germany unless you're super talented, tactical genius like myself. But, yeah, I mean, that is a bit of a shock. I thought they would give him more time than that. It's only three seasons in. I think Bayern Munich will record their lowest Bundesliga finish since 2011 when they ended the season third. Yeah, I mean, that's because they won the league 11 times in a row. That's a bit of a misleading stat. But, but, I mean, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who takes over now. Mourinho apparently wants it. He's at Napoli. Um, Sergio Conce Sal goes branded about. I'll be quite confident of coming up against him on a regular basis. So we'll have to see. Before we get into the final, I'll just show you how the other leagues are getting on. Liverpool won the Prem by three points. Juventus won Serie A on head-to-head -head with Inter Milan, just by goal difference on their head-to-head, -head. so that's a very close league. Barcelona won the league by a point. How, how close was that? Um, did Real Madrid lose their last game to... No, Real Madrid won the last game, so it, didn't, it still went down to the wire, but yeah. Behind, uh, Barcelona back to the top of... La Liga, uh, Paris Saint-Germain, as you would imagine, ran away with Liga. Uh, even more dominant than us, really. Only conceding 18 goals, losing one game to Mets. So fair play to Mets, but we can't worry about that too much. We've got to worry about the Champions League final. And big news, boys and girls, Christopher Nkuku, injured, pulled hamstring in training. Absolutely gutted. So we've had a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield. But Dom's gone further forward. Timber's coming in the half halfback role with Lima, Lima in the in the wing back. Other than that, it's pretty standard. We're going to give Bellingham a bit more freedom in the Metzala role. Mariba's coming in to play alongside him. Uh, biggest game of our 16 year history. Only 16 years old. This football club, and we're in our first Champions League final. And, to go with looking to add it to the trophy cabinet along with the three Serie A trophies that we have won, the two Pokals. One of us is one of them was won by us in the last game, one of us in the previous regime. James Madison in the midfield alongside Carlos Soler for Liverpool. Otherwise, everyone else is, you know, there at the start of the save. Whereas we've got probably one, two, three, four, four players in our starting 11 from the first game in charge. So one club here has made massive changes to get to where they are. Another one already had. I mean, we all know what Liverpool squad looks like at the start. Um, we've got the big Champions League football in the middle. We've got the lineups. They're going to, camera's going to go along here. While the, cha the, the Champions League anthem plays. Goosebumps everywhere. We're in Munich for the Champions League final. Home advantage. Early free kick from the Dom. Oh, Tony Silver at a near post lurking like Tony Silver does. Timber looks a co-one from a mile out. He doesn't score many. 
I, that's probably why he got booked, really, for probably attempting to shoot from there. Right, corner. The Dom. Tony Silva at the near post. No, it's Benjamin Sesco. Getting ahead of myself. Sesco at the near post. Nods it over. First 10 minutes have been all Leipzig in terms of chances. None taken so far. Two on target. Again, it's that familiar pattern of shots from everywhere, but not that many on target. Not that many threatening. And now Liverpool look like they have their first highlight. Trent with a throw into Salah. To Trent Carlos Soler. Salah curls one and it's just wired for the post. That's dangerous. We all know what Salah can do from there. Got to pose him down more. Can't afford to let him get the ball into that left peg and curl one. Right, game settled down to it quiet. Again, 10 shots to three on target. We've got to, I mean, I might have to look at who's my attacking coach and see if we can get some finishing training going on. Our XG's gone over one. We haven't had a highlight for days. Here we go. Cardio, Mariba. Looking to build the ball down the left. It's all a bit tight there. Timber in that half-back roll spreads it out to Tony Silva. He brings the ball forward. He looks for Endrick. Endrick looks for Sesco. Big Ben is in. And Big Ben has scored. He didn't score in the first final. He's got one in the Champions League. The one that matters. See, this is why you should stay here, Ben. You do not need to go to any of them other clubs that want you. Be a rude boy for life. Come on. I mean, Allison hasn't covered himself in glory there. In the big games, you need the big players to step up. Big Ben has done exactly that to put us 1-0 ahead as we approach half-time. Right, we've got to half-time. We've shown what we can do and we just got those shots on target. I think Guardiola was looking a bit knackered towards the end of the half, but he seems to have made a you know, magic sponge at half-time, so he's sort of done the trick. Right. We're halfway there. Halfway to the biggest trophy that we've ever could have won 16 years old this club is going back to that, that's mind-blowing in 16 years a club can go from being formed to a champions league final i mean it hasn't happened in real life it might happen in real life it's still got a couple of years to get there um i am available if you're looking for someone red bull looking someone to lead i mean I only need a couple of hundred million pounds to spend on players, but we we can generate that through the sales and others. And, I mean, what a boring second half of football so far. Can't believe that Liverpool haven't thrown more at it. They've taken Madison off for Harvey Elliott. We need to start making some changes because this is the kind of time in the game where our players start to get a little bit tired. Um, so we need to freshen some things up there at left full back in the midfield. I mean... Yeah, the Dom hasn't really done it in that role, but he is my boy. He's not coming off. He's He won't see out the night because he's nearly knackered already, but we're going to give him every chance to. Not only that, we're only one goal up. If it goes to penalties, he's one of the ones you want taking one. So, got to have one eye on, on that. He's on the free kick. Kim Min Jai tries to recycle. Can he find a better ball to Dom? Nope. We've lost the ball. We've got to watch out for the long ball over the top. Derek tries to go. Salah. Tony Silva steps in. Almost loses it. It gives me a heart attack every time he's on the ball, that lad. The Dom is in. Can he do it? Oh, the Dom. That is why he stayed on the pitch. Tactical genius again. You are witnessing some absolute genius before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take the credit for it, but in real, in real terms, the Dom, look at that. He's just knife through butter through the mid. They're the middle of their defence. Alisson again could have done better. But who cares? 2-0 in the Champions League final. It looks like we're going to do it. It looks like we're going to get that first ever Champions League trophy. That treble. I mean, I almost don't... I, I want to take him off because he's naked and he deserves his own standing ovation. But I almost feel like he should just stay till the end. What should I do? What should I do? Hmm... You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm a man of the people. It's down to people management. Liverpool want him. That is why Liverpool want him. Hopefully now, between my two boys, Big Ben and the Don, they've seen that just RB Leipzig is the place to be. We're the best team in Germany. We're now the best team in Europe. We've got a chance in the Club World Top Championship to be the best team in the world. Why would you want to leave? Why would you want to leave? Ooh. 
Jota has got one back. I mentioned we don't like keeping clean sheets in big games. We've now just got two and a half minutes of squeaky bum time. Dodo, I mean, I thought he was extinct. Crosses to the near post. Diego Jota gets in there. Defender doesn't get in front of his man. And we pay the price. Right, please see this out. Please. Please. All the time. There it is. Championi. Championi. I mean, that is what you call a redhead. Look at him. And him. Ginger Central here. And we have won the Champions League. Look at the celebrations. Everyone goes wild. Um, I think that's me just clapping there. I'm still clapping. Everyone's going bananas. Keeper's dancing. That keeper's dancing. Ginger's clapping. Oh, look at this. We don't get a cartwheel for the Champions League. We get a slightly different celebration animation, which I'm not overly averse to. There we have it. What a game of football. We've done the boys proud. We've done a number on Liverpool. Creble is ours. Congratulations, what a win. Congratulations, Paul. How does it feel to win the Champions League? Well, Kev, I'm going to tell you. I'm so proud of this team. I am proud of them. They're my boys. I've seen them grow from, from boys to men. They've come to the end of the road in this season. They've won the Champions League. And now we've got a big summer ahead trying to hold on to some of these little legends that have just won the Champions League. Famous quadruple. I love the way that they take the Super Cup and make it mean something. 17.24 million. For, I mean, that's just got to be for that individual game. Pierce, one of the top English managers. Let's see that Hall of Fame. We're in ninth. We're on the rise. Don Revy, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, Herbert. Yes, we're not going to. We want to be there. We want to be Bob Paisley level. And then we look. Then we look at the. How is it? The worldwide one? Is it worldwide? Yeah. Then we start looking at taking down some of these bad boys. I mean, it'd be an honour to even just be in the same conversation as some of these guys. But yeah. Right. Enough about me. It's more about the rude boys. It's going to be a big summer ahead. I'm going to come back for a transfer special. Hopefully we can hold on to some of our legends whilst the vultures keep circling. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you've got any tips on how to scare the big clubs away from your star players, please share them down in the comments because it's going to be difficult this summer. We need to keep the rude boys together. And to do that, I'm going to need your help down in the comments. I'm going to need you guys to give a big thumbs up on the video and push this video out to as many people as possible. More people will see it, the more people that might comment, help me keep Sesco rolling on. Maybe we get another treble next year. Maybe that'll push us towards a new save or a new era. Or do we let them go? You you guys can tell me what, what you would do. I want to keep them. I love the Rude Boys. Hopefully you love the Rude Boys too. And thank you and good night.